With nearly 5.4 million votes recounted in North Carolina, it will come down to yet another recount. The race for North Carolina Supreme Court Chief Justice continues without an official winner. After a statewide recount, the race is narrowed by only a few votes. Incumbent Chief Justice Sherry Beasley now trails fellow senior associate Justice Paul Newby by 401. It is the closest statewide race in history. But the reality is that both sides wanted this particular seat. They fought hard during the campaign season despite the COVID uh, pandemic, and it has come down to literally a few hundred votes. Chief Justice Beasley now calling for a hand-to-eye recount, which means the state board will randomly select samples from 3% of voting sites in each county. If those results indicate a statewide reversal, then a hand recount for all votes would be the next step. Also at play, the appeals from both campaigns that the state board will soon consider. There are also those contested um, ballots that have been thrown out, the absentee ballots, that both sides are contesting different groups of those ballots. So I think this could go on for a while. So what happens if this ends up in the courts and drags on past the current term? The state constitution says the incumbent holds the seat until the race is finalized. While Beasley is utilizing her legal options, the state GOP is urging her to concede, calling it a boondoggle. Both parties have their own reasons, though, why they want to secure the seat. And we know that next year is going to be a year in which the legislature draws new boundaries. It's very likely that ends up back in the state Supreme Court. And so the composition of the Supreme Court does matter. And that recount starts next week. The State Board of Elections meets December 18th to consider the appeals filed by the two candidates.